We got y'all right here on the daily chart. And obviously, everything really depends on Bitcoin. So I suggest y'all to watch my videos on Bitcoin because I update those frequently. But anyways, as y'all can see, we actually came down. It's 20 in May on the daily and we're on our way up again. But what I'm expecting in the event of Bitcoin was to, to make a spike up to around fifty-two, fifty-three thousand dollars $53,000. I would expect this to also make a move up too. And the move would be up here because I don't believe we're actually going to, you know, in the uptrend. I actually believe we're going to continue to go down because that's what the longer term charts show is that it's on, on a downtrend. So anyways, I'm expecting this to come up, but not coming past this high right here and this exact high. Is three thousand eight hundred and ninety five so it'll be a, a spike up just below that and then a rejection and then we'll be coming back to our, our levels so on our way up like I just said I'm gonna say 3950 keep it simple which is our upside target and then once it breaks down it's gonna break down and I'll show y'all in a second but anyways our first level on a breakdown slowly will be right here around 2500 but once it hit 2500 it is going to fly it's going to fly and they got they already got this thing set up you see the way that our next drop down this is what i'm like when bitcoin hit 30,000, i'm expecting this thing to be around 1900 and i'll show that to y'all in a second but you know we're still way up here now because this thing is on it's going to make a, a super dive but right like i said when 2500 hit it's going to fly straight down here around 1900 let me zoom out a little further for y'all. So on the weekly chart, so y'all see where I got that from. Y'all see this basically is the support we have now, and it was previous resistance. By our next level down, like I say, around 1900, it's right here, previous support basically. So we don't come back down to the support level, and we're going to bounce back up to where it was support, and it's going to be resistance. And it's basically going to form an extremely large head and shoulder formation this is what it is you see it right here the move up down move up down and now another move up down because this move right here cannot go past this nor this peak it's not going to come back up here to this high because it already got rejected so that's how i know it's going to come up here if it comes up there because it don't have to because it's already in formation of a head and shoulder it's right now just trying to trick people but I already know what's happening. Just look around the world. It shouldn't surprise you at all. And clearly this is super resistance. Like look at that. Rejection. Rejection. Third time we broke through. But it went back down. It's a rejection. We already tested it three times already. We may not even test that again to be honest. But at any point in time they can just crash this market. So I mean just keep that in your mind. Because I've been telling everybody for a while about what's really happening and their plans. But anyways like I was saying. We come down here around 1900 once Bitcoin at 30k, but Bitcoin is projected. Well, my projections, Bitcoin is hitting 20k, and when Bitcoin at 20k, we looking at way down here around 1100 dollars for Ethereum. So yeah, so this right here be a large head and shoulders. Boom. Even this will be a large head and shoulders, or information. However you want to look at it, it just don't look good regardless of how well you look at it. To be honest, I'm gonna zoom out a little further new monthly chart started so boom now you see where I got the very bottom it was previous resistance right here around eleven hundred dollar range so we don't come back down here and use that resistance as support so it's gonna be a hard long fast drop whenever it do happen so y'all be on the lookout because even let me, let me move this real fast so y'all can see this up oh, wrong one boom wrong one again there you go. Now tell me, do y'all not see this head and shoulders? The spike up, boom. Spike up again, boom. This one right here is about to be the last spike, and it's going to be a super crash. <coughs> Excuse me. And I believe it's going to come all the way down here. Like I said, around 1100. There'll be a tap of this 50 EMA also. So, I mean, it don't look too good, you know what I mean, for the overall market. But then you can see this is an extremely large pattern that Ethereum is on anyways on a monthly chart. Because I try to explain this, that they already had this plan years ago. And clearly this is what, January 2018, December 2017, like this general range is like and they all spiked up all the coins. And now we all coming back down for support now. 
But yeah, you see the M right here. You know, you know I always tell you about the pattern formation. See the M right there, boom, to the W, boom. And this will be the retracement. It has to come back down here. This is an extremely clear pattern. You can see this clear as day. But we definitely come back down here. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So y'all just be on the lookout because once this starts, the new month just starting now, it's going to be a fast drop. Like, it's going to be randomly. Within the next few weeks, they're going to crash the markets. But, you know, anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all grown. Y'all make your own decisions. But like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.